linked between the U.S. and Canada, and each holds one side of the scissors, President Roosevelt and Canada's Prime Minister, Mr. Mackenzie King. And across the lake of a thousand islands, the President rides onto Canadian soil. This garden spot of nature, this bridge stands as an open door. There will be no challenge at the border. There will be no guard to ask a countersign. Where the boundary is crossed, the only word must be, pass, friend. In honor of his visit, Canada confers on the president a degree of doctor of law, and then he makes the speech that stirs the world. He reverses America's old policy of isolation. He ranges his great democracy on the side of Canada, the empire, and Britain. His words may go down to history as the speech of the century. The dominion of Canada is part of the sisterhood of the British Empire. I give to you assurance that the people of the United States will not stand idly by if domination of Canadian soil is threatened by any other empire. <laughs>